Hello, my dear eleven students. Today we are going to learn Unit Four, the supplementary reader. The topic is with the photographer, written by Stephen Leacock. So, with the photographer is an experience of the author while taking a photograph. Generally, why we take photographs? We take photographs to capture our happy moments or unforgettable, that is memorable moments. They fill us with nostalgia. Generally, what are the occasions when we photograph? Take when we take photographs when we go on a tour or when we have some ceremony in our home or when we have some uh, festivals or when we conduct any. Uh, oration program, competition program, or any birthday parties. So these are all some of the uh, things which will come to your mind uh, when you take photographs. Sometimes nowadays you are taking selfie. Selfie is also a kind of photograph you want to uh, uh, show yourself as a person, a kind of person, a beautiful person as you are. So uh, why photographs are taken? Generally, you want to freeze that moment. You want to recollect the moment in the future. So that's why you are uh, uh, generally human beings take photographs. Let us see about the author. The author Stephen P H Butler Leacock. This is a full name of Stephen Leacock. He is an F R S C, and his period is from from eighteen sixty nine to nineteen forty four. He was a Canadian teacher and a political scientist, writer, and a humorist. Humorist, abhi na, ina na, a person who takes uh, things in a light manner and tries to educate the, uh, tries to promote awareness or the situation how it is uh, very uh, wrong or how it is going, taking it in a light manner and criticizing. He was educated at Upper Canada College in Toronto of Canada and the University of Toronto from which he graduated in the year 1891. He completed his fellowship in political economy. His subject of uh, PhD is uh, political economy. So in which year he completed in the year 1903 he completed it. Between the years 1915 and 1920 25 sorry between the year 1915 to 1925 he was the best known english speaking humorist in the world so ivru vande enna na nalla thiramaya pesa kudiya he is an expert in talking things in a light manner along with criticism of people's follies false beliefs that means sunshine some of his articles sunshine sketches of a little town arcadian adventures with the idle rich economic prosperity in the british empire the dawn of canadian history moonbeams from the large lunacy the unsolved riddle of social justice my discovery of england wit wit and dry humor or some of his brilliant writings before going into the lesson let us see some of the glossary words glossary means some of the important words with a meaning so the first word is drooping drooping means bending a person who bends who has a back bender that is the meaning of this lesson context unwarrantable means illegal or wrongful pursuit means quest frantic means mad desperate grave means serious boundless limitless seized stopped trifle means a bit staggering means shaking or vibrating shaking or vibrating animation means excitement beckoned means calling a person called superficies means surface or outer face withering scorn that means disapproving hatred depict show give a picture of to show or to give a picture of a uh, certain uh, things or a personality reconcile to confirm to comfort and 
heal. Reconcile means to comfort and heal. Emboss means to cause bulge out. Cause to bulge out. Bobble. Bobble means a thing of no value. Bobble means a thing of no value. Students, glossary is very important for you in synonyms. Synonyms la some of the words, generally most of the words are taken from the glossary. Let us go into the lesson. Here see, uh, in the starting itself, the author is speaking. Uh, let us see what is the author talking. I want my photograph taken. I want my photograph taken. I is the author Stephen Leacock. I said, the photographer looked at me without enthusiasm. The photographer uh, sees, uh, looks at the author without any and without any happiness, enthusiasm means what? Oh, you want to take photograph? Please come in. Like that, generally we invite photographers invite. But here this photographer is not showing any enthusiasm of taking a photograph. He was a drooping man in a grey suit. Drooping man means what? A bending, back bended person. The back bended person. So this photographer was a back bended person and he wore a grey color that is cement color suit with the dim eye of a natural scientist. Generally scientists have uh, a certain look no. So this photographer seems to look like a scientist. But there is no need to describe uh, about this photograph. The author is saying I need not describe. Generally photographer means uh, in, uh, in, the, in the ancient period how they look. So in his period he is describing this photographer. But when we say we can imagine like that the author is saying. Everybody knows what a photographer looks is look like. So sit there he said and wait. So he was commanding the photographer was commanding the author to sit there and wait for him. I waited an hour. Who waited? The author Stephen Leacock was waiting an hour. During that time, I read the Ladies Companion for 1912, the Girls Magazine for 1902 and the Infants Journal for 1888. So the author was waiting for an hour and during that time, he read all these above mentioned magazine. I began to see that I had done an unwarrantable thing in breaking in on the privacy of this man's scientific pursuits with a face like mine. So the author is comparing his face is like the photographer's face and he is feeling that he has done some mistake by waiting here for an hour because the photographer is doing his own work and he is thinking, the author is thinking that he has taken unnecessary pain in breaking the privacy of the photographer, his own quest, that means his own search, his own uh, thirst or um, his own work. So his face is so rigid and he is not showing any enthusiasm and he is told the author to wait for, wait outside his photo, uh, photography area, uh, his center. After an hour, the photographer opened the inner door. So after one hour, the photographer is opening his inner room. Come in, he said severely. Author and the photographer, what he says, come in. Like that, he says very severe, very seriously that means. I went into the studio. The author goes into the studio. Sit down, said the photographer. Photographer is saying, to, so he is saying author to sit down. I sat down in a beam of sunlight filtered through a sheet of factory cotton hung against a frosted skylight. So general law in olden days photograph is taken in a dark room. So there comes a beam of sunlight filtered through a sheet. So this uh, uh, he is sitting in a place where a beam of sunlight uh, pokes through uh, a sheet of factory uh, cotton hung. Again, against a frosted skylight. So, this room is dark and there is some little light comes through a beam. The photographer rolled a machine into the middle of the room and crawled into it from behind. So, generally photograph machine used to be a big one and they close their face. Uh, if you see in the old, uh, old movies or Charlie Chaplin uh, movie, you will see uh, the photo, how photography, some scenes. They close their face, it is a big machine, they troll it, troll it means roll it, uh, that machine 
and the photographer he is rolling that machine in the middle of the room and crawled into the room behind into the into it from behind that means he he goes and uh, hides himself into that machine that is what the author is trying to describe the photography scene he was only into a in in it he was only in it a second just time enough for one look at me and then he was out again tearing at the cotton sheet and the window panes with a hooked stick apparently frantic for light and air so the and the and the photographer is going into the machine that means it is closed uh, by a cloth like this see in this photograph how this author is going inside is shown he is going and he is trying to take photograph so he is adjusting that cotton cloth uh, on his face and also he is trying to uh, apparently the, he is uh, taking the cotton sheet in the window panes with a hooked stick that means uh, with uh, he is uh, showing his face inside the camera and also trying to uh, show some light through the window pane with a stick uh, i want my photograph taken i said the photographer that means the author is saying to the photographer that he wants his photograph to be taken the photographer looked at me without enthusiasm that means without any happiness he was uh, sorry i am speaking this